All right, hey YouTube, this is Retro Sandman. Uh, I'm bringing you a tutorial today, um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a YouTube avatar, which is um, kind of a little um, icon thing for your channel. Um, or if someone boxes you, it'll be that little logo thing. Um, so I have a template. If you, uh, we're gonna be making this in Photoshop. I have CS4. Uh, go to File, Open, and uh, there's a link in the description below for you guys to download. Uh, it's a avatar template that I made. I think it is a uh, 80 by 80. So just download that real fast. It's a really small file, um, and it looks like this when you get it opened up. So uh, if you come down to the bottom left of your screen, you can change. It should say 100%. We're gonna change that to about 500%, like this. So we can just zoom in and see what we're working on. So uh, to start out with our avatar, what I usually like to do is go to File, Open. And uh, I like to grab a picture, um, text. I'm going to grab some text, neat text that I've made in Cinema 4D. Um, or you guys can grab whatever you want. You could just grab the text tool in Photoshop and, and type it. Um, but I'm just going to do this for now. And uh, it will open it in a new uh, document. And what you're going to want to do, if you did open an image, you can hold Control and then click on the thumbnail of the image in the Layers panel. And if you don't have your Layers layers panel you can go to windows and uh, layers or F7 uh, I am running windows so uh, I'm not sure how to do it on Mac and uh, once you have uh, selected it, it you should see the uh, like the little ant crawling around your text or your picture hit uh, control C and then go back over to your avatar template and hit control V that will paste it and as you can see it is so big you can hardly even see it so uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna hit, gonna hit control T with the uh, box selection uh, re rectangular marquee tool selected uh, and we're gonna hit control T and now as you can see we can uh, shrink this down to uh, how big we want it and uh, keep shrinking and if it is very large you can come up uh, that's what she said you can come up to uh, the uh, <laughs> the I don't know what you call it, this little panel up here, and you can change the X and the Y um, stuff if it's really large and you don't want to keep shrinking it. That's what she said. So, keep doing this, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I got it to size, to fit. That's what she said. I'm going to have to stop doing that. <laughs> uh, almost there, almost there. Very close. All right. So once you have this, you can uh, ro I like to rotate it kind of like this, give it a nice effect, and uh, get it to fit the image, and uh, that looks pretty nice uh, right there. So uh, once you get done with that, you just hit enter, and uh, it will look blurry, and the reason is because we're zoomed in so far, but once you zoom out, uh, we will it will look a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is rename that layer to uh, my text, which is retro. So I'm going to rename it like that. Uh, and uh, next we're going to make a new layer by coming down um, in the layers panel. And it'll uh, be like a little paper thing. It'll say create a new layer if you hover over it. Just like that. We're going to drag it underneath that text layer. Double click the text and name it uh, BG for background. We're going to grab the gradient tool. It might be on the paint bucket tool. So if it is on the paint bucket tool, hold down and drag over to the gradient. And uh, we're going to click up here uh, on the gradient itself. And uh, we're going to change these colors. You can change them um, by clicking on these paint things on the bottom layer of them. You can change it to whatever you want. But I already have a custom thing that I've made for the blue. So uh, I'm going to switch these real fast. You guys can customize it however you want. And uh, hit OK when you get done with that. I'm going to select the radial for uh, for my um, for the uh, mode. And uh, I'm going to start in the middle and drag out to a corner. It doesn't matter what corner. And as you can see, it gives it a really nice effect. Uh, kind of has a glow in the middle, and then it fades out to bl uh, black at the edges. So uh, that is uh, very basic. If you go back to the bottom left hand corner of Photoshop, you can change that to 100. As you can see, uh, I have a nice looking uh, little avatar. And if you do want to edit your text or anything like that, you can double click on your text layer, 
not on the text or the thumbnail, but to the right of it a little bit. And that will open up the uh, layer style. And I like to add a drop shadow. It, it makes it give it it gives it a, a lot better effect. Uh, sometimes bevel and emboss gives it a nicer effect, but for this uh, occasion, it doesn't look any better because I made this in Cinema 4D. So uh, yeah, add a drop shadow. It'll, it'll give it a nice effect, and then uh, hit OK when you get on with whatever you want to edit. And uh, yeah, guys, that is a very basic little um, tutorial that I thought I'd show you guys. And uh, to save it, now this is pretty important. You want to go to File, Save, Save As, I mean. And uh, I'm going to name it to Retro Sandman Avatar uh, 1. Because I don't think I have any. Alright, 2 then. 2. And uh, you can. S I'd like to save the, the uh, Photoshop file just in case I want to come back and edit it. But uh, now you want to go to File, Save As. And for the format, we're going to choose a, a PNG. Um, and uh, hang on a second. I'm going to check something real fast. I'm going to see how big the file needs to be. Um, I did upload my first uh, commentary uh, for Black Ops. So I hope you guys go check that out. Um, it's, it's not my best. Because one, it's my first. Um, so, yes. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to select PNG for this. And uh, we're just going to save it. Uh, hit save. And uh, it'll come up with the PNG options. Just have none for the interlace. Hit OK. And you are done. You can exit out of Photoshop. Go to uh, your YouTube account. Go to up here to your thing. And then account. And then hit change for your picture. Make sure it's on upload an image. Choose file. And uh, find that image that we saved. The PNG image. Which is right here for me. Click it. Hit open. And uh, it'll show you a preview of it. Right there. Hit save changes. And uh, this will save your uh, image. Your avatar. And now you have a uh, uh, good-looking avatar that fits the avatar uh, screen image for YouTube. So, guys, I hope you like this uh, tutorial by Retro Sandman. And I will uh, see you guys in my next tutorial. If you have any tutorials that you'd like me to make, just message me and I will uh, probably get that done. Because I'm not great at coming up with tutorial ideas. So, I'll see you guys in my next one. Uh, commentary or tutorial, whatever it happens to be, speed art possibly, and uh, I'll see you guys. See you.